Central Bureau of Investigation said in its FIR that Rosie Sangma, an air hostess from Nagaland, died due to negligence by a Gurugram private hospital in June last year. The FIR stated that the critical patient of vaginal bleeding was treated by a dentist who was not at all qualified for the same. A five-member delegation headed by Assam Border Protection and Development Minister Atul Bora will be on a two-day visit to Mizoram from August 9 to discuss the border dispute with the neighbouring state. Meanwhile, Mizoram Home Minister Lal Chamliana will lead his side of the team. Many conflicts have taken place between both the states in the last few years. Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO will be launching its smallest commercial rocket Small Satellite Launch Vehicle or SSLV on August 7th. The SSLV will carry a satellite, Azadi Sat, comprising 75 payloads built by 750 girl students from 75 rural government schools across India. The project is part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations to mark the 75th Independence Day year celebrations. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi today said that he thinks Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has zero understanding of what is going on in the economy of India. Rahul Gandhi said this while addressing a press conference in Delhi. I think the macroeconomic fundamentals that she is talking about is something else. Sitharaman is there as a mouthpiece, Rahul Gandhi said. China today announced sanctions on United States House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her immediate family members over her trip to Taiwan recently. The development comes days after Pelosi landed in Taipei despite several warnings from China becoming the highest-ranking US politician to visit Taiwan in 25 years. Earlier, Pelosi said the United States will not allow China to isolate Taiwan. Japanese Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi on Thursday said that five Chinese ballistic missiles landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone. This comes as China launched its largest ever military exercises around Taiwan after US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit. We have protested strongly through diplomatic channels, Japanese Defense Minister stated. India's 27-year-old para powerlifter Sudhir clinched gold medal in the men's heavyweight category, taking India's medal tally at Commonwealth Games 2022-20. It is India's first ever gold medal in para powerlifting in the history of Commonwealth Games. Sudhir had a best lift of 212 kg and he finished with 134.5 points in the final, setting a new Commonwealth Games record.